I'm going to work this problem two different ways. You're trying, you're trying to solve for x. First, I will work it algebraically. I have an equation. I need to clear my fractions first. I'm going to multiply every term on both sides by the LCD, which is x, x plus 1, x plus 4. By the next line, I will not have any more fractions. x plus 1, x plus 4. So when you multiply it times 1 over x, the x's cancel, and you're left with x plus 1 times x plus 4 minus. Multiply by this term, x plus 1's cancel, you're left with x and an x plus 4 with a minus sign in front. On the right side, equals x plus 4's cancel, you're left with x times x plus 1. Now, if I multiply this out, this gives me x squared plus 5x plus 4, and I did that by multiplying x times x, x times 4, 1 times x, and 1 times 4, and combining like terms. Now I'll get minus x squared minus 4x equal x squared plus x. x squareds cancel on this side. Combine like terms, I'm left with x plus 4 equals x squared plus x. Subtract x from both sides, the x is cancel. You're left with 4 equals x squared. Move the 4 over because this is a quadratic equation. And to solve a quadratic, we know it's quadratic because the highest exponent is 2. You uh, need to get 0 on one side. And then what you do is factor. This is the difference of two squares, x plus 2, x minus 2. That's how that factors. <laughs> And then you set each factor equal to zero because what's the way you can multi what's the only way you can multiply two things together and get zero? One of them has to be zero. That gives me x equal negative two, x equal positive two. And I look at my answers. Two's not given. X could be negative two. The answer is C. Now the other way to work this problem would be 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 1 equal 1 over x plus 4, is plug your answers in, the multiple choice answers, and see if you get a true statement. Now, you can eliminate answer A because you can't let x be 0. You can't have 0 on the denominator. And x can't be B, it can't be negative 1 because if you plug a negative 1 in here, you get 0 on the bottom. <laughs> And it can't be E, because X can't be negative 4. So try answer C, which is negative 2. You get 1 over negative 2 minus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 equal 1 over negative 2 plus 4. And don't switch things from side to side. Just let it be. That's negative 1 half minus 1 over a negative 1 equal 1 over 2. And you've got two negative signs together, and it's going to give you a positive. Negative one-half plus one. Does that equal one-half? Sure does. One-half equals one-half. That's the answer. So one way is to plug the answers in, and the other way is to solve it algebraically.